Hello, we're at the Zane Center, where researchers are on the hunt for better ways to treat rare diseases in children. One exciting new treatment they're working on is called gene therapy. I'm Alexis and this is Freddie. We are both members of the Young Persons Advisory Group. Our group regularly meets with scientists, nurses and doctors who ask us about our views on health research for children and young people. Today, we want to learn more about gene therapy. Katie, you're working on this. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. Let's start by looking at genes, which are part of all the cells in our body. Our body is made up of billions of tiny cells. Each cell contains chromosomes, which are two long strings of DNA. The DNA contains hundreds, sometimes thousands of different sections. These sections are known as genes. Each gene has a special job to do and spells out specific instructions, just like a recipe, on how to build parts of your body. Sometimes genes don't work properly or can even be missing. When this happens, it can create problems in how the body works, making us ill. For example, if a gene that helps to build our immune system isn't quite right, the immune system won't be able to fight off things that can make us sick, like a cold, a sore throat, and more serious infections like coronavirus. Doctors and scientists are looking into ways to treat illnesses caused by a missing or faulty gene. In some cases, gene therapy can add a working copy of the gene into our stem cells. Stem cells are in our bone marrow. They develop into all the different kinds of cells, including the one that makes up our immune system. By putting a working copy of the gene into the stem cells, we can fix our immune system. Stem cells stay in our bone marrow for our whole life, so fixing them may offer a long-lasting treatment for diseases that don't yet have a cure or treatment. Can you take a healthy gene from a parent or sibling for gene therapy? Each person's genes are unique. You are a unique mixture of your parents' genes. That is why gene therapy is using each person's own cells. Scientists have been working on gene therapy for a long time. What are you working on now? Some of our work focuses on children that are born without a functioning immune system and even a common cold can become life-threatening. They have to live in isolation and cannot mix with others outside their house. For these children, Gene therapy offers a treatment helping to build and maintain a functioning immune system for the rest of their lives. Right now, it's only available to a small group of people because we are still researching it. A girl called Liv is one patient who received gene therapy four years ago. Liv and I continue to see each other every year for checkups. Why did Liv receive gene therapy? Liv had gene therapy when she was 10 years old because her immune system couldn't protect her properly. That made it difficult for Liv to play with her friends or go to school. The doctors where she lived didn't have anything to make her better, but told Liv's parents about a new treatment. They travelled to London, hoping that gene therapy may help her. Once Liv and her family arrived, the doctors and nurses explained exactly how the treatment worked. Before Liv got her gene therapy, Nurses gathered some of her own stem cells from her blood, which were moved from the bone marrow with medication into the blood. In a laboratory, scientists added the new gene, which contained the information Liv's genes were missing. They were then given back to her through an infusion into a vein. The new stem cells then grew to help Liv's immune system work properly and fight infections. By making a small change to the recipe, Liv can make new healthy immune cells whenever she needs. How has the treatment changed since Liv had it? We are still testing it to find out the best way to treat a larger group of people. When you're improving treatments, sometimes little steps can make all the difference. For example, we can now freeze cells in the lab. This gives us more time to make sure the new stem cells are as good as they can be. I'm so glad I hope you. Could gene therapy cure all illnesses in the future? Gene therapy won't be a cure for all illnesses, but it holds great promise for inherited diseases that can be passed on from parent to child in their genes.
Today, scientists are testing gene therapy for many more illnesses. I heard about gene editing on the news. Is it different to gene therapy? Gene editing is not really different. It is a newer kind of gene therapy. In most trials so far, we add a new gene in addition to all the other genes, which helps Liv to build healthy immune cells in her blood and fight off an infection. Gene editing is like cutting and pasting to fix the mistake in a gene. It is a more precise type of gene therapy and can be used in specific cells, such as blood stem cells and other immune cells. Gene editing is still in the early stages of research, but it is very exciting. Overall, we have made tremendous progress, but there's still always more work to do. Thank you. I'm glad gene therapy can help children like Liv. Finding new treatments is fascinating 